Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, if you've been uh, kind of following my videos, you know I've been telling uh, new techs or people with uh, brand new uh, FCC technician's license that these can work mobile, no doubt about it. But I want to give you an example from today. We had a bike race today, and uh, it was a 71-mile course. Now, I happen to be at rest stop number four, which was uh, about 40 miles uh, along the course. But as the crow flies, it was probably about 20 to 25 miles from the actual repeater site. And I noticed right off the bat, I could monitor the communications coming from the repeater uh, with my handy talkie. No problem whatsoever. The repeater's transmitting at 50 watts, the antenna is way up in the air on top of a building. So I had no problems hearing uh, what the uh, net control was saying or any of the other stations for that matter uh, using my little handy talkie but I could not hit the repeater with the handy talkie okay could not hit it <clears throat> would key down and nothing would happen no one could hear me and that's what I keep telling people that are depending on these things uh, to talk basically simplex, which means from, you know, I've got one of these and you've got one of these and we're separated. There is no repeater. Uh, we're just on the same frequency. That's what simplex means. Anyway, uh, just happened to be a few hills in between me and the repeater where I was located. And this handy talkie could not reach that repeater. Luckily, I have a regular mobile unit in the car, uh, as I've said before, and it's transmitting at 50 watts. It has a better antenna on the car than this antenna, even though this is an upgraded antenna, the one on the car is better. Uh, and of course, I had a whole lot more watts. And I could just reliably hit that repeater from the same location, from the mobile in the car, but I could not hit it standing outside the car uh, with this handy talkie. I could monitor the frequency and hear the transmissions, but I could not actually transmit and get in. Just a little too far away or the terrain did not permit it. So that's the problem with these little handy talkies. It was a, uh, I wish y'all could have been there because it would have been a great lesson in not relying on these 100% uh, to get your, your comms from one place to the other. Uh, I don't want to call it hit and miss. It's not hit and miss. It's really dependent on terrain and uh, line of sight and what's between you and the other person that you're trying to talk to. Uh, is there a big building between you or hill between you or something and it doesn't take much to interfere with these now remember my car got through with zero problems I was a hundred percent quieting going into the repeater using the radio in my car so that's why I encourage everybody and I've done it several times in previous videos <coughs> When you do get your license, you know, probably the first thing you need to buy is a mobile radio, a regular full watt, 50 watt mobile radio. 
And then you go out and buy this second. This is like your walk around radio. But you can't really count on it 100%. But if you're near your car, uh, you can always transmit through the car. Or, of course, you could remove the radio from the car, bring it inside, have an antenna already set up outside, and just plug it in and uh, into a power supply, as I've done some videos on, and you'd be on the air with a great signal. So, word to the wise again, if this is your only radio, what I'm holding in my hand right now, you need to go out there and get yourself a mobile radio, full watts, 40 to 50 watts. Put it in your car, as I've said, rig up your car. And uh, you might want to buy a little power supply, put it on the desk inside the house, put an outside antenna of some kind up, run that cable into the room where the radio is and plug the radio in outside. You will get out many times better than you will with this. All right? Many times better. Can't really tell you exactly how much better because every location is different. Every setup is different. So, but I can tell you it'll get out further than this. And I'm going to just step out there and say twice as far as this, okay? You'd have to really mess up a mobile installation for it not to transmit twice as far as this. Or there have to be some kind of uh, egregious thing you did uh, or where you are. Some, you know, you're behind a uh, metal 30-story building. In the shadow of the building, you're trying to reach a repeater on the other side. You know, something uh, totally egregious for it not to transmit as far as this. So, word to the wise, <clears throat> might be best for you to think about when you get your first radio, get a regular mobile radio. As I've said before many times in the past, you can step out there and buy something like a Kenwood 281A for about $135 uh, and many handy talkies are higher than $135 and there's a bunch of them cheaper but a lot of the name brands are higher than $135 but you can buy a regular mobile rig Kenwood 281A puts out 65 watts and uh, it would really serve you well as either a mobile rig or a base station rig if you had a power supply to go with it. In the car, it just hooks up directly to the battery, so it's not a problem. Anyway, that's uh, all I got for you today. Just another encouragement to upgrade from a handy talkie to a regular mobile radio. Once you've done that, then, as I usually do, I encourage you to step out there, study a little bit more, and get your general license. And that will open up so many things to you in amateur radio that it's really no comparison between a technician's license and a general license or an extra license. Is there's so many more things you can do with the general or with the extra uh, beyond what you can do with just a uh, little handy talkie and a technician's license. Now you can do more with VHF, UHF, uh, you know, if you attach, if you have a regular mobile setup and you attach it to a computer, you know, you could do um, PSK31 VHF UHF text messaging. Again, limited distances, but you could get into some other operating modes with a VHF UHF radio, especially if it was uh, a fusion type uh, mobile. 
or a D-Star type mobile. That kind of opens up a whole bunch of uh, new things to you. So you can buy D-Star and Fusion little handy talkies, but again, your, your mileage is going to vary. It's going to be real limited. That uh, mobile D-Star or Fusion repeat, uh, I'm sorry, uh, radio, uh, regular mobile with those features will reach out there and touch somebody a whole lot further than these. So, with that said, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies and 73, and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Get that general ticket and start experimenting on the radio. See y'all later. Have a great day.